Hello and welcome back to Iratus. We're heading into battle and one of the minions, at least, is unfamiliar to me. So, hopefully it's not gonna be too tricky, but actually we have the current event. This is the... because the guys joined us apparently, it's gonna be an easier fight. So, actually, because of that, I'm thinking we have an artifact. We can just look at the consumables. We gain six additional common parts after a victory, one-time use. So if you use the gambling chip, this is a good time to use it because the enemies are 30 HP weaker, but they're gonna be uh, 20 HP stronger now. So yeah, I mean let's let's do it. I mean we're just mitigating the downside of the artifact, and we just get more parts. And uh, I should really make sure to use. Yeah, they should have. It's hard to tell. <laughs> they seem to have max HP. Gargoyle is a high damage dealing, tanky boy, but and can be stressed. It's going with a full-on stress strategy uh, wouldn't work out so well. Um, I guess he's just gonna be the tank. Uh, let's just hit everybody. Just to remove their blocks. The Barbarian is extremely tanky. Thirst for blood. Oh, uh, we can just do a regular attack. That's gonna be fine. They don't have, uh, any... Uh, blocks right now. Although the Barbarian is, uh, pretty damn strong. I need magical damage at least. Just having one type of damage is uh, uh, probably too risky. It increases damage down by 40%. What the hell? The board! The board actually deals stupid amounts of damage. Oh, we can take out the Shadow Elf. Can we though? Skeleton is useless. Uh, Let's try to take out the Shadow Elf. He is exposed. Uh, let's just hit everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have armor. So this might be okay. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap, I think the Bounty Hunters will die. If this, uh, keeps happening. I can't set them on fire, so that's not gonna work. Have a little tingle up your spine. Doing some stress damage to them will do next to nothing. We can slide in. For a stun. And considering that this guy... There's a lot of damage. I don't know. Should I take out the board? That's a physical attack, right? Invalid target? Oh, we can only hit the uh, one in the front. I guess we're gonna slide on the Barbarian. Uh, hypnosis. Yeah, someone should uh, start using... Uh, let's hit the Gargoyle, maybe. I wanna kill the Shadow Elf. So we can do a bounty, big damage, ignores block. But it's not guaranteed to take out the Shadow Elf in the back. I can proc an armor of the Bard, which is nice. And they take a bunch of damage. I think the harvest is still fine. Extinction of life! Okay. Uh, let's just slide in. <laughs> the bounty hunter will die. Oh my god. He's so fucking dead. He's so fucking dead. Oh my god, we're in trouble. Uh, 
Uh, I think the bounty hunter is just dead at this point, so... I should just uh, give up on trying to save him. We can do a bounty attack. Big physical hit. And we need to use... Our... Our rat. Yeah, I, I need to hit this guy. But he's just going forward and... That's, that will get him killed. Yeah, I don't know if we wanna do a... Uh, berserk. That can wait. Okay. Uh, we need to do a... Uh, Hails of Teeth. No There's no sun up in the sky. Yeah. Bony weather in ah! Yeah, not too surprised that that happened. We need to proc the, yeah. The magic ward. Well, it's gonna be a win. I know that. But, it, I don't know, we may lose the skeleton as well. I wouldn't mind taking out the board. Also, the gargoyle seems like a... Easy pickings, maybe. The board heals for 42. It needs to die. Alright. You just try to not die, okay? Boosted uh, three times. Unfortunately, can't hit the same target. The skeleton would need to go back by one. You just try to defend yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, just uh, hit everybody, I guess. This is not, not as good. I uh, can do it later. Death comes for everyone. Sure. Especially that skeleton guy. Oh! She ran away! Fuck! I should've... Oh, I should have put a... No, I, I couldn't. I didn't have mana. Apparently the... Low HP... Units in the back run away. Or low stress, whatever. But they run away in the back. Always in the back. And they can't run away in the front. I think. <sighs> you just try to not die. Sure. Let's punch this guy. Uh, if you can go back, that would be nice. Nothing else, you just defend. I can slide a little bit forward. Yeah, I'm not super happy with that. We can go for a stun. Which is nice. Uh, try to heal up. Wow! So damn thank you. Let's gain mana. The vampire can't deal with this. We need some big hits. Armor absorb. Yeah, I mean, we can ignore the armor and go for 17 damage, but I just want to not die. I 
You just ignore block and ward. I don't really need the rats. I already have a, a bloodlust. They just slide in a little bit. I keep the skeleton in the back now. No more dicking ground. Just go for a... Well, it doesn't really work. Just keep boosting. Ooh, I hope there will still be enough left to react. No! She's not running away. God damn it. We need to stun her. But that's dumb. But we need to do it. Okay, well, rest in peace, uh, Bunty Hunter mate. He's not the best. So far, I'm a big fan of the vampires, but it's kind of hard to get them. Sanities have a chance of going insane if sanity is 85% uh, of less. Ooh, that's really good for that particular playstyle. Not for me, though. So I got two talents. Isn't that good for something? It seems like all the levels have the same XP requirement. A 50 rat after killing a target with the destruction spell. That might be worth considering. Because I'm, I'm doing uh, that quite a bit. So these healed up. We can take the Scully out. These are fine. Uh, I can take a Bride of Viratus and maybe a Lich on a mission. What about these guys? They're just trying to level up. Wait, how much XP I got? This could level up in two turns. So let's do that. I can have a level 5 Bride of Iratus. I don't know what that is. Obviously I don't have it. Alright, let's go to the dungeon. Another quest. Choose a battle squad. Sure. Maybe I should have some level 1s out, just in case I need a sacrifice. <clears throat> this castle is truly massive. The corridors stretching far below ground as if it were some kind of root system to an enormous ailing tree. It has been a pain to navigate, but you do make some interesting discoveries. Down a small neglected passage you find an iron door leading to what is unmistakably an abandoned torture chamber. The pain and suffering still linger upon the stones and the various torture tools. Few actually died here, but the echoes of torment could certainly be absorbed, granting the power to feed off the suffering. But do you spread this power around or focus on one specific minion. Okay, I definitely want it to be a permanent boost. The most compatible of your minions turns out to be your ex. <laughs> oh my god. Keeping it mysterious, eh, game? With this concentrated pain, all current future designs will become that much more powerful. Holy shit, what? All vampires receive 10 permanent attack? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? So I got this vampire dealing 45 damage per turn and healing for 65% of that, so the vampire goes for 75 difference per turn. And on top of that, if we get the savage bite, we also gonna have 25% chance to deal. Uh, well, that's well, that's like yeah, kind of makes it like 25% better. It's almost like a 100 point difference per turn. It's it's not, it's not, but with a few boosts, yes. Most certainly yes. Actually, we're gonna have even more luck with that. If you level up a little bit more, most certainly yes. 
Holy shit, what the fuck? I I just want a squad of all vampires. Fuck everything else. Vampires OP. <laughs> I mean, just come on. Like, come on. Like, why boost a vampire by 14 damage when it has so much damage in the first place? No, this is crazy. Alright, dungeon. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> like, what's the point of Bride of Iratus when this deals 25 plus... Uh, like 49 damage over two turns, and this deals 45 damage instantly, plus heal for heals for 30. This is just so much better, and it has more, more HP, has lower accuracy, granted, that is true. But the vampire is OP, we need to get a fuck ton of vampires. I feel like that's gonna be the, the way to go. Choose battle squad 1. What the fuck, game? You crazy? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a Dampier. Apparently I need to capture Dampiers. It has block and ward. What the fuck? Game, you're crazy. I don't want to push the Bride of Iratus to the front. But I don't have much of a choice, I need mana. Oh, I forgot to add a vent time use uh, item. Okay, Spell Teeth. Dampier is damn crazy. Can we just uh, deal with it later? Wait, what? Oh, the Spell Teeths have Spell Armor. Fine. I can ignore the block and ward of the Dampier. I don't really want to increase the damage of the Dampier just yet. Let's just slide in the Bard. She's the tank. Oh my god, no! Lose mana? What is that stance? Oh, well, we're not gonna attack her, that's for sure. So, we're not doing a bloody rose here. A spell trigger would be nice on the bard. Just the cheapest we can find. And that is... For some reason... I can't find it. Oh, Flaming School, that's the one. Have a warm end, my friend. Wait, why did he take damage? Oh, it's because I used the destruction spell. Let's take out the bard, if he can. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to do the... The ultimate. 30 HP. Okay. Cool, it works. Uh, let's keep buffing her. Lose mana! Okay. Dark Knight. You can't do much here. You can just slide back and give me mana. Mm. Let's do a mocking slap. Within flames. Forty HP. Okay, sure. Uh, let's just keep buffing her. Holy crap. Holy shit. No! Don't die! She's the best. How can she die? We need to deal with a bunch of enemies here. Ashes to 
Okay, 61 damage, not bad. The board will not run away, I believe. Can deal damage to everybody, which is nice. Let's do that. I might wanna double trigger. Physical There's armor no here. It would be nice to eat the damp here as well. And there is no way to defend my vampire. The vampire should stay in the back. Oh, definitely don't hit the damp here. If at all possible. I just go back. Finish this guy off. This is my kind of entertainment. Don't hit, just go for a buff. Also, use a uh, Hail of Teeth. You know, you know There's no sun up in and boost the, the vampire. That's fine. Although, holy fuck! <laughs> By the way, that's a lot of damage. Interrupting the stance would be so damn useful. Someone has to do it, but we can't do it right now. We don't have any way to do it. We need someone to, to be able to do that. Okay. Who cares about uh, buffing anyone but the vampire? Let's wait. <laughs> what? Full HP? Alright. I mean, that, that works, I guess. Let's get some mana. Wait. She has a chance to escape now. You better run. Oh man, that's not gonna work. I need to go back. Ah! Fuck. Does anyone have block? I can do a corrosive cloud, but I don't want to attack that. We cannot interrupt the stance. We don't have any block. That counts as an attack. Holy shit. Doesn't spend an action. What? What? We lost the vampire? We need to interrupt the stance. Like, everything just gets one shot by that. that looks to be one of you. <laughs> I mean, I'm that serious. Like... No, what? Don't do anything. Death has been denied. Now. I got my back my stuff and I got some brains but holy fuck we are what I need to interrupt stances whenever we see a dump here holy crap what can interrupt the stance that was a massive uh hit so interrupt stances. I know the skeleton can do it, but what who else can do it? Does stun work? We don't know. Stun might not work, actually. But the banshee can stun, I know that. I, I know the skeleton well. He cannot uh it doesn't have any other way to interrupt stances. 
But it seems like we need someone who, who can do that. What the hell is this? Ignores armor. Wait. Increases the target's chance to escape by 10% for two actions. That's nice. Interrupt stances. Yes! Fuck yes! You won't get him. Target is unable to move during their next turn. We need something to interrupt the stances with. Warning shot. Fucking... Or you won't get him. Total must have. What else we got? Uh, I don't know if the knight has any way to interrupt the stances. Even though he's, he's usually like ridiculously good. But like... He can't do everything. Yeah. Bride of Iratus has an upgrade to interrupt the stance. Uh, that's not gonna work. Ignores ward. Yeah, I mean, she can do it, but maybe... I don't know if stun actually interrupts the stance. I mean, that would be nice to learn about. During their next turn. Okay. Can I interrupt the stance with something else? I mean, that was stupid. And it was a critical hit. I lost my crazy vampire. Summon a concealing cloud. But this doesn't interrupt the stance. So, so far, Bride of Iratus can do it. Mummy. And, uh, Bride of Iratus and Skeleton. Mummy? I don't think the mummy can do it. I, I, I think. I tried to be feral, but also hurry the fuck up. Oh man. We, we, how? How would I do? No, no. Interrupt stances is such a uh, crazy must have, or maybe stun. But I don't think stun is reliable because even if stun works, I'm not sure if that's good enough. Because it's not reliable. So far, the only reliable way to interrupt the stance is uh, you won't get him. Because the skeleton can only use the stance interruption when he is at... Uh, when he's in the back. And this also gives him uh, more of a room to use it. But he still doesn't have uh, an ability that makes him go back. So this is just go forward. So we use this to interrupt the stance once. Then we are at the front. And if you can go in front of the skeleton, then yes, it, it helps a lot. But no, we can't. I don't think so. I don't think this interrupts the stance. I mean, like, trap. Everything that gets... Everything that targets the first position, or the position of the Dampier counterattack... Uh, well... Well, just gets counterattacked. No, I mean, there's no way to interrupt the stance here. This guy has a lot of, uh, useful skills. But I'm not sure if even he has a way to interrupt the stance. So far, Bride of Iratus is super must-have. Okay, we can stress out two targets for like... Uh, 18 damage average. Target loses all evasion. Well, that's kind of nice, going for some haunts. Although, I feel like... Yeah, if you're doing that... Like, why take this guy? It's not terrible, but it's not great. Ignores block. I mean, this is a better choice because it's more reliable and it also gives you accuracy. What the fuck is this? I, I don't think so. This doesn't interrupt the stance. Loses all armor and resistance until the battle ends and this is loses all block and wards. Uh, this is better. 
Physical damage to all enemy. We only got the lost soul here. Uh, so far, Bride of Aratus and only Skeleton can interrupt the stance. And maybe Banshee can stun. And everything else is like a big fucking question mark here. But if you don't interrupt the stance, it's like, it's fucking game over, man. I don't like the lost soul. It, this is just bad. So, <laughs> the best I can do is like 70 Ooh, points per turn with the vampire. For terror, or let or like 75. Play. Last I checked. And compared to that, like, it's really hard to find anything that even comes even remotely close. Anyway, uh, go to the graveyard. And the problem with losing is that when you lose, of course, this was like a in addition to losing, that in addition to losing, not, not you only just lose a lot of stuff, but yeah, not only you just lose a lot of stuff, but also uh, the minions don't heal up, that like you were kind of relying on healing up. So not only your the B team is wounded and the A team is wiped out, well, kind of wiped out in this scenario. I, I could have avoided some of this, uh, most certainly, if I was. More careful. Uh, evasion is fine. I mean, this is fine. Everyone needs its generals. We can give him a level five brain. Come on, level five brain for you. And uh, we need the Ravenous Abyss. This doesn't really matter too much. I think all his dust is fine. Doesn't matter too much. I definitely prefer the Dark Cleaning. And uh, Death Cups My for everyone. Are in for a so he's gonna be the main tank. Physical damage reduced by a little bit. Wow. What the fuck? But right now... Oh my god. I need a vampire. I, I actually want uh, so many more vampires, but... it's not much I can do. So if I can create a Bride of Iratus... Uh, I don't care about Dread. And luck is fine. Oh, honey. You are so wonderfully rotten. So, we're gonna put in a brain for her. And we always want the flame of passionate love. But right now, we also need to interrupt the stances that you won't get him. Even though, I really don't like this too much. But interrupting stances, fucking super must have. What else we got? Maybe waiting. Would would a waiting help me in that scenario? I don't I don't know. Did I just fuck up? I don't know. Maybe that's possible. We shall see. But interrupting stances is uh, important anyway. Has really high accuracy. We can just go for more damage. Now. Prove That's fine. We can go like this. We need more guys. Not these. I don't have any more brains, right? These are artifacts. No, I don't have any more brains. So I can take this guy maybe as a position uh, four, even though I really don't like him. Well, compared to what we had before. It's so bad. Uh, if we can gain a ward. This is like a mana filler. Absorb terror. But we kind of need the, the deafening veil as well. If we go for that. But this kind of makes... It makes more sense to go for a chilling whale. So if you go for like some kind of dread based strategy. I feel like the banshee is pretty damn good. But that's not what I'm doing. Because going for 5 attack and 5 dread for the next action is not as good.
I guess I can just play like that, maybe. I just want the Dark Knight to slide in as a first action. I don't know what to do with the Banshee. We can just have him uh, have the Banshee on uh, position 2. So she can spam Hal. Which is pretty good. Like, two targets, skip their turn. Pretty fucking good. And the Deafening Veil is like a backup. Actually, if you're in the first position, I would rather not die. I think I'm gonna go for Absorb Terror. Get back. Because I still Get back. value mana more. Uh, let's just go to the dungeon and... Let's just finish this girl off. Okay, let's go. <sighs> so she's wounded. Ugly mortal whore. <laughs> wow. That's so mean. I like it. What the fuck? Okay, there's no need to do the... You won't get him now. We can just, uh... Setting it on fire seems pretty good, but we can't do it. Don't you want to run away? I can do a flaming Have skull. A end, my friend. Uh, unfortunately that damage, the extra damage we deal, uh, cannot be. Actually, that's a physical damage, so... Maybe I would just go and do something like that. We can stun it, maybe? I, I don't think so. Because it has ward on it. You just kill it. No dicking around, just kill it. As you're this is the su this is the dampier I'm supposed to capture. I have no idea how. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I recovered from that uh, disaster. Not really, because we lost the fucking vampire. And I don't think the banshee's a good choice at all. I don't get the banshees. Are they just bad? I don't- I don't think they fit my strategy. Okay, she needs to stay in for one more round. I don't know about these. They will need to stay, stay in for four more rounds for- to be level five. Uh, we can get some HP. Block. The zombie gains one block and ward until the end of battle. So, the main advantage of that is that just we can use it for tankiness. That's not bad. The trench loading. If we are really struggling to stay alive, we can use that to maybe not die. But we can also use this to get super strong. Now we can use the buckshot. This gives us one. Uh, well, only magic armor, not magic block. That's kind of fine. But that's just like a plan B if you're dying. But it's a decent plan B if you're dying. Whatever, nice. let's let's go get that with the zombie. Results. And uh, end of battle. 10 HP is not super uh, impressive. I think survival is more interesting. Because we get one block and ward until end of battle if we press that. This this just push us uh, push pushes the rate toward the front and this pushes the rate toward the back. The thing is, I will not use this too much because I would like to be in the sweet spot of uh, free. If anything, I would most likely to use the ghostly veil. 
I mean, uh, yeah, Ghostly Veil, maybe Spectral Fog, just to go back. That's more likely to be useful. 35% evasion. Yeah, I I'm taking that, that for just, just for the skulls. So that makes my main attack uh, a little bit better. I, I don't think we should go for uh, the plus HP. Like that, that's very nice. Terrifying evolution, extra dread. So this is almost like 60 uh, stress damage, which is pretty decent. If uh, stress damage is what we want. Uh, okay, that's the current lineup. And it's not great. It's a pretty weak lineup. I can get more of a chance to get brains, which makes these uh, losses less bad. But that's kind of a bad strategy, but at the same time, it's... This makes losing units less painful. And, as, and I would like to say that, yeah, we're not going to lose units. We're going to be just fine. But frankly, we do. And getting their brains back uh, would help us a lot. This time, I'm just, I'm kind of struggling. And I didn't get to the point where it was like game over yet. But... It is possible that we're gonna get to that point. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Uh, tr 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 who could uh, benefit the most from upgrades? Whoever can go to five. I mean, once we get go to five, it's, it doesn't really matter too much. We, we got a five, that's fine. So this one doesn't have the interrupt stances maneuver, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, we can recover some dormant minions. Out of these, I like the Death Knight the most. But it's completely useless without the brain. Because I don't know if you can just run around with level 1, dude. That doesn't work. We need to go into the dungeon. And we're getting closer to the exit. This is whatever boss that is. It's a tough fight. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.